When I started at Mill Hill, I was a junior technician. As I mentioned, I hadn't got my A-level results. I can't remember how long it was, but it would have been, I think, in the autumn when we got the results. And then as soon as I got mine, I passed the three that I'd taken, botany, chemistry and zoology, and uh, I was immediately promoted to a junior technical officer. And that was a big increase in money. It went from 280 something pounds a year to 300 and I think it was no 402 from two, it was quite a lot of it was the biggest increase I had in percentage terms in my whole 42 years at the with the MRC um, so I became a junior technician then and then as a, as a junior technician we were they wanted to you know educate us and we were given day release to go and do um, I did, um, what did I do, Applied Biology, an HNC in Applied Biology at Brunel. It was Brunel College in those days in Acton. It's course now, it's Brunel University. I don't think there are any colleges left, are there? I think they're all universities now. Not that I think that's a particularly good idea, but never, anyway, it was a Brunel College in Acton, and uh, it was a two-year course, HNC. It took me four years to do it. That's another story. I can tell you about that rather sad tale if you'd like to hear it. Well, I was doing the HNC at Brunel. It was a two-year course, as I've mentioned. We had day release for that. I think it was day release and that evening as well. So it was a whole day at Acton. And there was some, you know, lots of... It was a very um, pleasant course. Lots of girls there from Glaxo and other places like that. And we used to go... We went once or twice, we went skating in Richmond rather than perhaps going to the lesson that we should have gone to. And uh, I, I remember going into the practical exam for biochemistry, I think it was, and I think the I could see immediately what the, the practical was based on. It was based on, I think they're called the Invic reactions. This is a long time ago and you've got to bear in mind that I may not remember everything correctly. However, I did know that I knew nothing about this because this is the thing that they'd done the day we went skating. And I was doomed. So we, we did eight exams and <clears throat> I passed seven out of eight. And that was a fail. And I had to start again and unfortunately the year that I, the course that I'd been on, the two-year course, became a three-year course. So instead of doing one more year, I had to do three more years. So I had to do four years instead of two years. It probably serves me right. And I was called in by um, Sir Charles Harrington into his office to to talk to me about why I'd failed this exam. They were giving me day release, and he, he wasn't very pleased about it. And he said, you know, you've really got to pull your socks up, Marsh this sort of thing, and I promised that I would pull my socks up. But unfortunately, I didn't get, although I got, I can't remember now, the, that we got some day release, but I then had to go and do a lot more evenings as well. I think it was four evenings a week. It was quite a strenuous thing. In fact, it may be that on the second, I can't really remember now, it may have been on the second HNC course, it was an evening class course, which, the MRC still paid for everything, but I'm not sure whether we got a day or a half day release for that. Anyway, it was quite hard work, but I eventually passed that, and so that was that. I've just mentioned I had to go and see Sir Charles about failing my exams, and he said to me, <coughs> are you that young chap I've seen tearing around in that red MG? And uh, I was the young chap he'd seen tearing around in the red MG. I, and I said, I said I was, and he, he sort of harumphed a bit, I think, and thought, mm. he, he, he inferred that if I spent less time tearing around in a red MG and more time working for my exams, I might be more successful, which I'm quite sure is true. But I'm not sure that I did spend more time not tearing around in the MG. I've always torn around in those and still do.